Welcome to another lesson with the Method Man Productions. This lesson will cover function notation. When you see something like this, that does not mean f times x. It just means it's in function notation. It's similar to something that we've seen before, like the equation y equals 2x plus 5, where x is your domain and y is your range. Like I mentioned earlier, f of x does not mean f times x. It's similar to what I just went over. X is your domain, and once you have your domain and you plug it into the equation, you get what f of x equals to, which is your range. Here's what I mean. Pretend it's asking f of 3. All you have to do is plug in 3 into the equation above. So I'm going to do 2, and I always like to put parentheses first, and all I have to put in the parentheses is at 3, my domain. Now find out what it equals, and you get what f of 3 equals. Simplify from here, and you get 11. Now it's asking for f of negative 2. All you have to do is plug in a negative 2 for wherever you see an x. It's just as simple as that. Simplify it from here, you get negative 4 plus 5, which is equal to 1. Don't do anything else, and that's it. The last example looks a little different because this time there is a variable and a coefficient in front of it, 2m. But you're still doing the same thing. Instead of x, we're just going to rewrite the equation, and we're going to replace that x with a 2m. You're doing the same exact thing. Simplify it from here. 2 times 2m is just 4m plus 5. Question 2 looks a little different because there's just different letters, but we're still following the same steps. M stands for my domain, and once I plug in a value for my domain, I get my range, which is G of M. I always like starting off the problem by rewriting the equation, and instead of my M's, my domains, I replace them with parentheses. That way, all I have to do in the end is put in the number that I have to substitute in what it tells me to, negative 1. From here on out, just simplify. 8 times negative 1 squared is the same as 8 times 1. Negative negative 1 is plus 1 plus 6. And add them all up at the end. 8 plus 1 plus 6, that's just 15. Same thing for the second example, g of x of squared. Start off by rewriting your whole equation, and instead of your m's, replace them with parentheses. That way, all you have to do is put in what the function tells you to, x squared. After you plug in your domain, all you have to do is simplify from this point. 8x squared to the power of 2 is 8x to the fourth. A negative x squared is just a negative x squared plus 6. I can't simplify any further, so I'm just going to leave my answer as this. Please pause the video and try out the example. When you are done, unpause the video and your answer will soon be right in front of you. Here are the answers for the two examples below. First thing I did was simplify my function by distributing. Negative 3 times x plus 2 is the same as negative 3x minus 6. For the first example, f of negative 1, all you had to do was replace the x with a negative 1. That simplifies to negative 3 at the end. For the second example, f of 2m plus 1, just replace your x with the quantity of 2m plus 1. Distribute it, you get negative 6m minus 3 minus 6, which then simplifies to negative 6m minus 9. Hopefully I was of help, and please don't forget to subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math examples.